All right, now let's talk about contrary motion. I've talked about it a little bit in the past. Let's talk about doing an action and then undoing an action. Remember, if I do this, what is the contrary motion? To let go and go down. If I pick up like that and put down like that, it's not a contrary motion. It's a new action. So we don't want a new action. I don't want this and this. I want this, and then I want you to let go, and you realize I'm, I'm relaxing gradually, just as I tensed gradually as I went up. See? Uh, you really feel it when you're lifting weights, because the higher you lift them, you know, the greater you feel the, the, uh, the resistance. But the truth is that when you let go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze my hand like this. See? I'm going to breathe. Here we go. Now, when I breathe, my diaphragm contracted. Everything went down. Now, when I start to sing, I can do this. Or breathe. I can do this and push the other hand away. See? Push it like that. See that? Or I could just undo the action I've done. So I'm going to go, ah, breathe, ah, breathe, ah, breathe, ah. So can you undo action. Breathe. Look. I breathe in my throat just relaxed and went down. So I'm not gonna, there's nothing to undo here. There's only just do nothing, maintain nothingness here. Invisible. I uh, always talk about Dame Ava Turner. She called it the invisible throat. So I'm gonna breathe in. So where is the action of breathing then? If I breathe like this, and particularly if I pull my stomach in like this, where does that go? So now we're in the Caruso book. This is the way Caruso describes breathing in his book. So pull the abdomen in and breathe down low. Then he said do a contrary motion. Well, that means I have to undo what I just did. So I go, ah, Tito Skipa used a method called that he called sighing. So I breathe down, I go, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So I'm not letting you know, oh, I'm not letting go all at once. I'm letting this the mirror image of this go. Oh. Now, what do I sing uh, if I'm if I'm in a an undoing method, right? And I go. I can't stand it. What am I doing? I got, I got distracted by the beauty. <clears throat> like this girl came in a rehearsal one day with a dramatic soprano. She said, Darlings, I was warming up my voice this morning and my voice was so beautiful. It brought tears to my eyes. Now, sometimes you're singing along and it feels so good and you're just going, you know, and then you forget the words. At my age, you know, what the heck? I don't, don't remember all the words anymore anyway. So how do I breathe in? Stomach in, breath down. Then I'm going to undo the motion. What am I doing? See? Breathe. When you have one of these, <coughs> and this is 0%, and this is 100%, how much do I use? See? I breathe. 
Now, how much would I use to, as a contrary motion? What is that, a 40 or a 50 percent? I'm not blowing like it's 100 percent. I'm not, I'm not pushing the hand away. I'm relaxing. I'm undoing. See, I'm going like that. Which means I turn that around and I sing with that percentage going in and it becomes an, an inhale the voice technique. In a la voce technique. So we'll go like that. All right, I'm going to use that amount. Ready? La, 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 la. What am I doing? Where is that? How much am I sucking in and how much am I letting out? Done. And how much am I blowing out? Zero. So if I sing inward, then what happens it is it allows my diaphragm to relax slowly. And my rib cage, which was expanded way down low in the back, is now closing, closing uh, slowly. I draw the bow like this, and then I let the go, I, I'm going to let the bow go this way. See, I'm not going to tink, release it like that. Maybe on one dramatic note, but I'd rather not sing those. Right? I'd rather go, ah. Ah, uh, see? How do we do that? So the whole idea is to sing, uh, you know. What am I doing where I'm undoing what I did when I breathed? And this is the whole, the whole, how shall we say, sighing method, contrary method, is based on knowing how to contract to breathe. That means the diaphragm contracts and goes down, the back half of it goes down, your ribs open, everything happens, and you breathe. And then you do this. And you, at the same rate that you were contracting, you are now undoing. <clears throat> so I breathe like this. Ah! Ah! People with undeveloped breathing very often have to jerk to get the breath in, like that. People with big breathing can stand there and not breathe in at all. Or you'll never know it because they do it silent. They go. Some of those entrances, they have uh, uh, Turido has it in uh, Caballero Sticana. He goes. Shall I go before that? Shall I do like that or not? Or shall I go? So the singer is supposed to decide along the way. As Abraham Lincoln said, you can please some of the people all the time and all the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people all the time. And if you get a, a, a stage director, a coach, a conductor, your friends, you know, the chorus will come up and give you advice. Everybody will give you advice. Robert Merrill said you get 100 people and they will give you a different piece of advice. One says, I think it's too dark. The other says, I think it's too bright. Oh, okay. No, no, when, you know what? You, you, have to, you, 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 you have to put your head down like this. Oh, so Tetrosini in the book said you had to put the head up and back for the head cavities to open. So as far as you're concerned, she had no voice. You put her head down. So can I sing with my head back? What if I breathe? Ah, can I sing like that? Huh? Did I let go? Did I undo? When I, uh, did I undo the breath I took? So let me see you take a deep breath. That means the fist does this, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax it gradually to get it back where I started from. And I'm not going to open it, and I'm not going to open it slowly with control. That's another way to sing. Spingere, to push, uh, is a word they used to describe spinto singers who do it with a push. And they go, ah, and you'll hear it start changing the sound. If I do this, I blow half my breath out, you notice what I did? I didn't do this, right? I had some breath, and I went, and I blew it out. And now when I start to sing, I continue that. 
I know it's a little bit complicated, but I blow my breath out. That means I'm doing this with tension. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue that to keep singing. So I go, It's a very particular kind of breath technique. What if I do this and I attack the sound halfway through? Do I let go or do I continue drawing in? Or do I hold it where it is? See? All of these uses of the breath, believe it or not, are valid techniques. If I do that, Mit fast Verzweiflung, falsche Sport. What am I doing there? See, I could go, falsche Sport. Or I could go, falsche Sport. Or I could go, falsche Sport. Blieb kein And that's only three of them. There are a lot of them. So what I really wanted to touch on here was weight of the lean. How heavy is the lean? Right? What do I do? Think, think about what we've, what we've been talking about. We've been talking about now... Uh, breathing four parts of the voice. I did that in the other video. And then we talked about weight of the lead. Now we are trying to understand contrary motion. So we breathe in. We go like that. I'm going to let it relax gradually. I'm going to let it relax. I'm going to undo the tension I did when I breathe. Now, how do I breathe in? So then the breathing just becomes everything, it becomes crucial, it becomes the way you do it, it becomes, it becomes so important that I go, I breathe. See, I can show you so many different ways to breathe, but we got to find the one that suits you. You are the one. I know all these, and you got to find the one that suits you, and it may, who knows? Uh, you, you, you may have some unique consideration, like the greatest voice in the world. Nobody would know, right? If you go, oh, nobody would know you had a great voice. If we'd had a caruso going, nya, 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 meep, meep. Can you imagine Caruso had done that? Go, nya, nya, nya. now lift your palate. Nya, 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 nya. Would... What did Caruso do that made him sound like it? He keeps talking about the ah valve in the back of the throat. So I go, see what I did? The throat reacted when I breathed in. Anyway, this one may be uh, a little bit to under, hard to understand because you've got to have a, some breathing development before you can get the idea how to do all these things. See, remember the four parts. You breathe down here, you stop the breath, you phonate, and you resonate up here. So that's a stop, right? Then we put the weight of the ladder on. <laughs> if you put, if you, uh, uh, if you like to sing with your phonation, like some of the singers sing in the back of the neck all the time, um, then you lean back like this. You go, ah, same principle. You lean the ladder right on the point of phonation, which is, ah, 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 ah. As long as you stay on that dot and keep your ladder under control, Ah, you're in good shape. If I breathe, I go. Ah, 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 ah. I happen to feel.
feel that very much right here, but you know, a lot of singers don't feel it in the mask, so we don't want to apply any rules or anything that I do to something anybody else says. I just want you to understand the principles involved. You breathe with your body and your, your lower back, and you lean, and you find your fist, and you learn to, 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 to let it go, and you learn to not do anything up here. Just leave it alone. Don't use it. I'm not using my throat. Even when I go, if you had a knitting needle and stuck that down there, that'd be way down here someplace. It's got nothing to do. I remember Krista Ludwig used to sing like this. And I saw her do the big immolation scene from Goethe Demenon, which of course is soprano music. Uh, and but she started off with holding the paper, uh, the music like this, and she ended up like this. But she sang every note. Now where was her lean? Where was her point of lean? Where was she leaning her ladder? See, why can't I use oh, 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 in the front, but I can also do in the back? Oh, 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 I can sing right in the middle of my back. Oh, 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 oh. Where is that? See. Ah, 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 So uh, this, this, te this um, I, I didn't want to say tension, this using the muscular process to inhale. I'm pulling my stomach in, I'm sucking air down in my lower back with my diaphragm. I'm going, my rib cage responds. My rib cage opens. I don't open my rib cage like that because it makes me sit up too high. So I don't open my rib cage. I let my rib cage respond. As George London used to say, nothing moves unless the breathing moves it. So if I want my rib cage to open, I have to breathe and let the diaphragm open it as it is required. So I go, now my ribs opened as a response, but I didn't open them. But I did suck air way down into my tailbone. Now I go, that's this. See? And then when I start to sing, I go like this. And I do a contrary motion, I do an undoing. I undo. And it's something you can practice all the time until you get absolutely get control of it, see? Una furtiva lagrima Negli occhi suoi spunto you should be able to use this one with the music you're singing. And if you're singing music that's too dramatic and too heavy, you're going to have trouble uh, drawing in enough. And then when you release, you'll run out. See? So what happens to the guys is they start to release and the music's too big, the phrases are too long. Then they start pushing. They start pushing this. They start pushing it open. And you heard what happened if I do that. Ah, hear that? Ah, that's a completely different kind of sound. See, do I want that sound? Ah, ah, or not? See? Anyway, it's all to be discovered in the future. And as you uh, d learn to do this, if you think you really got it, then send me a tape, and I'll listen to it. Oh, I'll tear you to pieces. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'll say, ah, oh, you reminds me of myself when I was that age, you know, which I hope will be a positive thing. <laughs> Bring me a positive memory, okay? All right, enough for today. Breathe. When in doubt, breathe, and then breathe again. Ciao.